Hey guys, Sean here from Shooty School. I make the most elite Easy Drama 2 tutorials on the internet. I want to inspire you guys today with a quick unscripted video. Um, you should own Easy Bass and Easy Drama 2 or Superior Drama 2, either of the drum modules. Um, I had a question, uh, I read a question that a person was basically saying, I use Easy Keys and I use this pattern and I use Easy Bass and I use these patterns, they're great together. What drum beat should I use? And it's a very open-ended question just to ask the world. I mean, you could get so much different feedback. Ah, you go crazy. So if maybe you were, had, you know, like writer's block, or, you know, you were just kind of stuck, or maybe you're just not used to, you know, looking for drum patterns or something you're getting into, you could just try this trick. I think it's, I think it's kind of inspiring. Uh, I, I toy with it now and then, but, um, when I heard someone ask a question this way, I was like, this trip finally a home for this trick, you know? So um, what we're going to do is let's grab a groove from Easy Bass. Right? And let's go over to Superior Drummer. I've got... Um, <clears throat> I'm in Pro Tools and I have both of these plugins open in my DAW, but I also have uh, Easy Drummer 2 in standalone standing by too, because Easy Drummer 2 has a, a tap to find MIDI drop zone, right? So I'll just go to my Grooves tab, I'll go to Easy Bass, and I'll drag this groove out into my Grooves tab. First time in history someone's complained about the interfaces being too big. And I'm going to drag this to my. MIDI drops on it, looks like it made it there. And if we play this bass line in the Superior Drummer 2 tap to find drop zone, it doesn't sound that appetizing at all. This isn't the drum beat I want. Bad. This is an awful video. But by dropping the bass line in that tap to find, all the main hits are in that bass line. And Superior Drummer 3 or Easy Drummer 2 are going to see those main hits and go, Oh, you want a drum beat to this tap to find performance? Yeah, we do, even though it's a bass line. And look, look at the results it's producing. 95, 95, 95. This, is, this percentage is how much the results match that bass line. So this is pretty cool, especially for amateurs that are just looking to get started. Let's listen to the first one. That'd work almost perfectly with boot, boot, doo 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 doo. <laughs> this is a metal beat for you. I mean, that'd be quite the eclectic. Uh, let's say that one doesn't work. Oh, I'd like to hear what. Yeah, that one'll work per fine. Yeah, I want this tutorial to be quicker, but now I want to actually hear what they sound like. Um, yeah, yeah. Oops, got to play in the host. All right, that works, I mean, perfectly. If, if, as long as you creatively want it, that worked perfectly. Let's try, let's try the power metal one. This was not going to work, but this was amusing. This is turn, kind of turned into an amusing experience. <laughs> I would love to just stretch and say, oh, that'll work, guys. It, that won't work. It's fun. That's a little tasteful. It's actually, that was actually really cool. Uh, delete. I muted. I should have deleted. Here we go. So, I mean, look, those results, uh, that was four out of five of those beats would have worked. Dude, that's really cool, especially for someone that's just just still trying to learn how to navigate the, um, the tune track here, whether it's easy, whether it's superior, whether it's easy bass. Like, this is a fantastic way just to get started. Um, I, I mean, I really haven't done this for any of my workflows yet, but I'm... It's like the third or fourth time I've toyed with this, and like this time's the most inspiring because I finally had a reason to go, oh, this might work, you know? Um, well, let's, and before I go, because I want this to be a quick vid, and it's five minutes long already. Before I go, let's just do the reverse, right? Do the reverse, heck yeah. Let's say I want this beat 
I should pick something different because these are the results to that bass line so it's obviously already worked. Let me just choose a, a different beat that we haven't, it's a different style maybe. Alright, the downbeat's way more straight in that, so maybe this is a good example. Let's sit, let's do the reverse thing in Superior Drummer 3, or an Easy Drummer 2. Um, I found this beat, and I need a bass line to it, and I'm totally like, I need inspiration, or the example earlier. Drop this to the tap the fine MIDI drop zone, now we're going to reverse order. Let's hear what that bass line would sound like. It sounds like a creepy uh, Les Claypool intro or something. But, all right, so our results aren't as impressive. I also don't have, I also have no easy bass MIDI library. I'm enjoying just having the stock easy bass. So in my Superior Drummer 3, I have, you know, probably 10,000 files to choose from. Over here, I just have the stock. So that could be the reason. Oh, right, right. Rhythmically, it's finding some matching things, but overall matching, it's gonna be tough. So let's see. It's a cute bass slide. All right, that actually worked perfectly. Um, I mean, definitely have to use your imagination. I mean, if you come in here saying, I wanna write a song that sounds like this, of course, doing it in this order, it's, it's gonna be a tough sell. But just off the top of our head, maybe you were coming in just with a, uh, uh, no expectations at all. That fit perfectly. That worked too, but it was the same style of bass line, so that doesn't really... Um... I just eighth notes. Let's try this one, because this one's a lick. Everything in the results would have worked just fine so far, but now I have something that's busier. Let's see if this would work. It's like, uh, it's like I'm growing up, man, and Michael Jackson just released something. All right, so that worked perfectly. So uh, before I sign off, let me throw one more thing at you. I got uh, Easy Drummer 2 over here. The drop zone will work exactly the same as what we've been doing. Um, I just got to, you know, make it so my doc can look over here. Easy Drummer 2. And uh, where's Easy Bass? You know, I can take this easy bass line. I'll take this more complex one. Easy Drummer 2 standalone outside of the DAW. Can I get you in there? Nope. There we go. And it works exactly the same way. This bass riff is churning up this result, and the first results right out of the gate is 88%. That's pretty good. Right? <clears throat> One last thing is, I feel like you have high hopes to try and start dragging Easy Keys lines into Easy Drummer 2 because there's so many notes in a piano. It's, it's crazy. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. There's so many notes in a piano, you know. It's, it's probably going to sound messy. You can try it. Let's try it here in Easy Drummer 2. But here's the one thing I'm talking about. I don't know. I'm not even going to waste my time with that. Just because my first example on the other programs worked, and my first example in Easy Keys was a nightmare. But what if you drag this piano over to your Easy Bass Drop Zone, and now we just want to make the bass play like some mature dude with hands that are four times the size as mine to make crazy chords on a bass guitar. tempo is a little whack right there but <clears throat> I mean that's literally just playing the piano parts from easy keys and that actually sounds pretty good and of course the editor and easy bass can start pulling some of those um, uh, <clears throat> notes intervals out of there and make it sound actually more realistic I mean this could be a real intro I mean let's play this at you know 70 
Oh, I'm in a DAW, so I can't change the tempo, but right here anyway. But um, that played at 70 might sound like something pretty fantastic. Anyway, that's like round tripping the tap to find to tap to find. I mean, we're when you look at these tools all together at the same time, and if you've watched my old videos, or maybe you already know anyway, um, you know, it's really universal with dragging MIDI out, dragging MIDI in from one program to the other. For the longest amount of time, I've dragged from Easy Drummer 2 in my DAW to another instance of Easy Drummer 2 and standalone on my desktop. So I have one timeline that's got my produced song, and I've got my other timeline that's just got all my cuts and edits and all that stuff. And, you know, once you, like, acknowledge that, you know, the, co the cooperation, the handshakes happen that well there and then you back off and you look at all the programs you like look all these things can can help each other out you know so anyway I hope that was inspiring even if you don't utilize it I hope it helps you just look at the back off the software and take a look at it as a whole and start coming up with your own cool tricks all right shot from shooter school make the most elite easy drummer 2 tutorials in the in on the internet in the world and uh, soon to be easy keys and, and other stuff too so rock on